To install the scalpel, grab your needle holders. That's different than the curved hemostats. Those will not grab the blade as well, so we'll put those away. Start by opening up the scalpel package and uh, take out the blade. You'll notice that the curved side is the sharp active side, so we'll want to stay away from that. Rotate the active side to the left, and then with your needle holders, get a secure grip on the back side of the blade. Go ahead and click it down three times so it's nice and secure. And then grab your scalpel handle, and you'll notice that the handle and the blade both have an angle. Um, and it's important to make sure those are lined up. If you have it the wrong way, you'll notice that the angles are not aligned and it won't fit. Once you have it the right way, go ahead and slide the handle into the slot. And then once it's on the tracks, slide it all the way down till it clicks. And now you have a secured blade ready for use. When you're done, to remove the blade, grab it at the bottom. And you're going to want to lift up that bottom over that lip, push up. And usually at this point, you'll lose the grip because it's such a small area. So go ahead and re-grab the fat part of the blade on top and slide it the rest of the way off. Now we never want to throw a blade in the trash can, so to secure it, go ahead and place it back in its uh, original package. You can tape it up to secure it that way. Or if you've lost the package, you can use a piece of cardboard and uh, tape it up to secure it to that. I like to use a heavy duty tape like duct tape to make sure everything is nice and secure to um, you know, make it safe for our waste disposal uh, personnel.